everyone and welcome back. Thanks for hanging out. I'd like to just talk about hygiene. So we're all quarantined. Everyone's gonna be safe. We're isolating. That's why we're on YouTube. That's why we're looking at content, being a little creative. And I mean, it's a great time to just like tune out what's going on in the world and just kind of just giving yourself a break. So this is why we're here, but we also want to be sure that we are cleaning and keeping our apartment, our house, our rooms, our things nice and disinfected. That's where I come in to talk to you about cleaning your brushes because these hold lots of bacteria and if you don't clean these puppies, they will get on your face, you will start breaking out, it won't look good. Bacteria around your eye, mm, not that great. Also, sponges. You need to clean your sponges. Usually it should be more than you think. So if you think that you're doing enough to clean, do a little bit more, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be talking about two products that I use to keep my brushes clean and I recommend them and how I use them and what order and my little method. First off, when you're gonna clean your brushes, you wanna put out a towel to make sure that you can like have a clean towel out to make sure that your brushes can sit and dry somewhere nice and clean. So just figure out where you're gonna do that and do that first. Next, get your brushes and bring them to a sink with warm water, not too hot, cold, uh, warm water. So then we're gonna take the Morphe Brush Cleansing Balm. This thing works like a charm, but there's a downside, and I will tell you the downside. This will take off all the makeup on your brush. And you know what you do? Take a brush, any size, wet it with water, then swirl in this bar. And it's a solid piece in here. And when you're swirling it, it's gonna build up this like foamy, makeup-y grossness. And you're gonna rinse the bar under the faucet, then you're gonna rinse the brush, and then you're gonna do it again, right? We're gonna do it again. And then you're gonna rinse it out of here, rinse it out of here, and then we're gonna move on to the next step before we put it on the towel. So. The second step to washing these brushes, and the reason is that this conditions your brush, this gets all the makeup off, you don't have to like go, you don't have to scrub, 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 like you don't wanna scrub because you're gonna ruin your brushes. But the downside of this is that it does leave a residue on your brushes. So you don't want that residue on your brush. To get that residue off your brush, so it's nice and clean and ready, is take Dawn soap. Why? If you can put Don on a little duck and clean him out of an oil spill like they advertise and they have the little duck on like the label, then it is safe to use on your brush. And it's not gonna be super harsh like some other detergents or soaps and stuff like you don't, I don't really have experience with other soaps. Like I usually just keep stick with Dawn. So take Dawn, put a little bit on here, rub it in your hand so it suds up and then rinse it all out. Then your brush is nice and clean. Then you're gonna repeat all your brushes so they're not gonna look like this. They're gonna look nice like this one or they're gonna look nice like these, not like these. Also prepare the time of when you're doing your brushes because it's gonna take a little bit for them all to dry. The smaller ones obviously dry the fastest, bigger ones dry the slowest. If you need them, the next day, you can always blow dry them with warm heat, not hot heat, warm, and then just use that little ex plastic extender on your blow dryer so it's not going directly onto the brush when you're blowing it out. And yeah, so that is how I clean my brushes and that is how I recommend cleaning your brushes and staying nice and clean and sanitary through tough times and for the rest of your makeup life. And this really works for me. This is like the, I've like tried just Dawn, I've tried just the Morphe thing and I feel like these two really 
are the best combination to get a quick clean for your brushes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see this eye look, I'll link it down below. Or if it's not up yet, it'll be coming up soon. I'm probably just editing it still. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, it's Carolina Daria. Twitter and TikTok is Carolina Daria 1. And I will see you on the next one. Stay safe. Bye.